Hello, sit back as Skill 5 presents our final presentation, a management quandary. Skill 5 members include Luke James, Claire Laguerre, Candid Skinner, Carla Valderrama, and John Zagadlo. This project was part of the Finger Puppet Management TV show assignment and Principles of Management with Professor Diasio. Our goal was to produce a TV show using management concepts and topics learned through the course. Our target audience is young to middle aged professionals and expiring professionals. For stimulating interest, our TV series displays a relaxed style work environment in which the team members embrace their individual personalities. It shows the importance of working together as a team or the whole team suffers. Storyboard characters were used to create scenarios that emphasized real life situations filled with drama, humor, and it also unveils the do's and don'ts of decision making as multiple unexpected tasks arise. The concepts introduced during our TV show are who are managers, managerial ethics, decision making, planning and strategic implementation, managing diverse human resources, managing change and communication. Management Quandary, the TV series, takes place in an office-like setting. The firm is faced with the problem of lack of employees to meet the demands of the upcoming federal tax season. The company wants to gain the highest ratings in tax preparation business and to increase their competitive advantage. Smith & Johnson Company is a five-star rated accounting firm located in St. Petersburg, Florida. It has been in business since 1984. This firm does tax preparations and provides business solutions to companies around the Tampa Bay area. The new senior accountant is faced with the problem of lack of employees to execute the demands brought on by the influx of business due to the upcoming federal tax season. Amber, a junior accountant, suggests hiring new employees will be beneficial to achieving their goals. As a team, Joe, Amber, Chris, and Taylor discuss ways to improve the competitive advantage of their company. They all decide that hiring more people will be beneficial. Sarah, the newcomer to the firm, brings in competition and a new insight to accounting that makes every member of the team question the safety of their job within this firm. Meet our characters. Joe, the manager of Smith & Johnson Company, is in his late 20s, has a bachelor's in accounting and a master's in business administration. He is extroverted and ambitious, easily likable and displays strong leadership skills. He is new to management. Joe is a successful accountant who is moving up in his career field fast. He is very excited about his new management position, but is very nervous because it is his first management job. He is well known for his individual decision making, but he does not rely on or trust others to help him achieve certain goals. Amber is in her early 40s, has no formal education in accounting. She is part of middle management and has seniority within the company. She is more of an introvert than an extrovert, a hard worker, kind of quirky in group situations, and tends to be indecisive. She is punctual with work deadlines and often le takes the lead on the few international clients that the firm has, which leads the firm to having a global focus. She needs to build skills in group decision making. Taylor is in his early 20s, has a bachelor's in accounting, and is fresh out of college. Very ambitious extrovert, displays immaturity working in a professional environment. He holds on to the college mindset and tends to be rude at times. Taylor struggles with individual decision-making tasks and depends on the team a little too much. Appears lost career-wise and lacks experience in communicating well with clients. Chris, in his late 20s, has a bachelor's in accounting, a part of middle management. He loves job creativity. 
but he is notorious for slacking tends to take the easy way out of things by pushing decision making off on the lower level employees he is pleasant but it is obvious he would rather be doing something else with his time not in a competitive person and this brings up challenges keeping up with other tax companies in the area sarah the newcomer is in her early 30s has a bachelor's in accounting she relocated in search of better job opportunities she is extroverted a creative thinker that quickly speaks out on anything that can help the firm better succeed she has become a dedicated and efficient tool to the firm by exceeding goals and expectations in her short time there episode five in with the new out with the old focuses on organizational change and development Joe must oversee the implementation of a new computer software system to facilitate the growing demands of the company to make it easier on the employees and ultimately to reduce operating costs there is strong resistance to change within his team especially from Amber since Amber has been with the company for about 20 years now and is much older than the other staff she is afraid that she will not be able to pick up the skills required to learn the computer system this puts Joe in a position where he has to evaluate and determine whether this change should take place Joe determines that it is necessary to change the computer software system because the lack of function and inflexibility of the current system has placed them in a position where they've lost business to competitors he must also overcome the resistance by his employees by getting them to see the need for change and educating them on the purpose for this change as well as his expectations joe uses a force field analysis to assist him in planning implementing and evaluating the outcome of the changes made episode six if only we knew how to communicate focuses on communication and negotiation while all the deadlines were met during the tax season there were times when members of the team finished tax a little too close to the deadline for joe's comfort without communicating the need for help since their busy tax season was over joe began to analyze the barriers to communication within the team Joe decides that to increase efficiency within the company that now would be a great time to work on communication skills none of the team members agreed or thought they were having a problem communicating Sarah knew communication was a problem but she thought she could use it to her advantage and make herself look better than the rest of the team Sarah's behavior stirred up conflict and confusion amongst the team now no one is communicating and meetings have become dull and boring which leads Joe to make all the decisions alone somehow through negotiation Joe cleverly convinces everyone to join him in a communication skills training course where they recognize the sources of interpersonal and organizational barriers to communication that they have been experiencing in this training course they have learned how to improve their listening skills developing empathy use of open-mindedness and how to send a message at the organizational level in closing we want you to understand that managers do more than just sit behind desks they manage resources plan future conditions and make decisions about appropriate courses of action they also organize direct and control many aspects of an organization as a manager all of these decisions don't have to come from you decision making can be done in a group with other team members to produce greater productivity every manager must have a plan on how they will manage the business and the challenges that arise daily in human resources managers have to be able to attract develop and leverage appropriate candidates to represent and work for their organization a manager must be flexible and willing to accept change and adapt to it as well as convince his or her employees that the change is beneficial effective communication is a vital key to managing others every manager should develop good interpersonal skills and seek to understand before being understood
To our future management students, we want you to know a group must be led and roles or tasks must be defined and given to each person for things to get done effectively. Following directions, allowing each member the chance to be creative and giving everyone a chance to lead is very effective. Starting early on tasks will be helpful. Being prepared for any meetings helps tremendously. Watching the example videos and example papers plus reading the instructions for each assignment is very effective. Make sure to read and take notes on the feedback given to ensure that the project is meeting the instructor's expectations. Allow each member to view the presentation and edit it if needed before submitting it. Allow each member to lead an aspect of the project and give feedback on what they think needs to change. Good luck. Right. 